how do you move 130 employees from this office into this much smaller space and keep everyone, employees and management, happy and productive? Well, it's a challenge. I'm Kaylin Rothhouse, and that's me and my first building project and my first power lunch. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to be a designer. And now here I am creating functional and fabulous spaces. This is my client, Mark Alfieri, founder and chairman of Brandstar. And that's Carmen, his executive vice president of operations. They've asked me to take this building and turn it into a modern and efficient workspace. It's going to be a challenge, but in the end, the new space will be functional, and of course, it will most definitely be fabulous. Brandstar is a branded entertainment company that produces programming for Lifetime and the History Channel. Mark Alfieri and his co-founding partner, Doug Campbell, started the company back in 1994 with only eight employees. Today, they've grown the company to over 135 employees. The company's office spaces, unfortunately, have not kept up with their growth. Employees are scattered over several floors in two different buildings and, frankly, sitting on top of each other. This is definitely not the best working environment. But Mark has a vision for a new office. However, the new office also presents its own challenges. We're in the process of going through a journey right now. We're taking 22,000 square feet of space and we're moving into an 11,000 square foot building. I'm not sure how it's all going to work and how we're going to fit together because there is a large reduction of space in there. I'm actually very excited that Mark purchased a building that's half the size. I think that he's going to be so blown away by what the smaller building actually does for him. The building is what really inspired my design concept. It's these two intersecting rectangles that come together, and that's exactly what's going to happen in his company. All these different departments and cultures are going to come together, and a new culture will emerge. In our current environment, we're on four different floors, which is creates silos within our organization because we're not together. And one of the things that I'm excited about is the fact that we're all going to be together in one space. And we believe that that's going to allow us to have a collaborative work environment and a much more productive work environment. And Kaylin assures me, even though it, it might be a little tighter, that it, we're not going to feel on top of each other, but yet we're going to get the effectiveness of being together. When you work in an environment where it's very spread apart, you don't get that energy and that workflow and that... You, have you ever, when you walk into a place, you can feel that everybody is going in the same direction, with the same goal, in the same speed, um, uh, and looking to do the same thing for the client. So in a smaller work environment with technology and systems and processes that allows them to do things quickly and together can increase the productivity and the speed of everything. And that new building that we're creating is centered around that concept. Now it's time to show Mark and Carmen the new building. I'm so excited. It's packed with the latest technology and I know it's gonna blow them away. Yep, I know it doesn't look like much now, but let me kind of give you an idea of where we are. So this is your reception area here. At this point in the construction, I'm sure it's really hard for Mark and Carmen to imagine what the space will be. So I've prepared for them a 3D model, which is a virtual reality animation software to really help them see what the space will look like and so that they can really imagine it. So I'm gonna walk them through that and show them and I know that they're gonna be very impressed. Mark and Carmen, I first want to show you our Smart Cap IQ board. This is a full conferencing solution with touchscreen capabilities, and it's really cool. Wow. So, and what you're looking at on the screen is a 3D animation rendering from VimTrack. This is actually our building, and I'm going to walk you through. So follow me. Oh, wow. We're going to do a virtual tour. <laughs> yes, so we're entering the reception area. No way. And we're going to make a left <laughs> down this corridor to your left are private offices, to your right are some unisex restrooms, and I'm taking you down toward the bullpen. I feel like I'm in the building right now. <laughs> wow, you even got the glass up and everything. We do. Yeah. So Mark and Carmen, here we are in the bullpen. As you know and as we've discussed, noise is one of the biggest problems in a bullpen area. So let me show you some solutions we've come up with. People aren't trying to be noisy, they're just doing their jobs. We actually used the Armstrong sound level meter to measure the sound in the space, and the noise was off the charts. The good news, it's one of those things that can be helped with the right acoustical choices. So our solution is this acoustic ceiling system from Armstrong, which provides us with sound blocking and noise reduction and is a great solution in a bullpen area and throughout the offices. So are those clouds underneath the ceiling? What's That's a cloud? What's what a is cloud? a cloud? 
So this is actually a decorative element in the ceiling. You see the cloud here? Uh -huh. This is a decorative element in the ceiling that will break up the monotony of this huge bullpen. It also adds an additional layer of noise reduction and sound blocking. So Mark and Carmen, I want to show you something else that's very cool. In our ceiling, and for our lighting throughout the building, we're using LED linear fixtures. And what makes this light fixture really cool is that it houses a sensor. This sensor allows us to do a multitude of things, like daylight harvesting, occupancy sensing, and a whole bunch of other features. So let me show you a little more about that. It's a cost-efficient system by Acuity Brands that automatically regulates the use of electric lighting in response to the amount of daylight available. The really cool part? It saves energy while maintaining consistent light in the workplace. I'm really excited about the daylight harvesting because it's going to help us with the energy efficiency, but more importantly, it's going to help us become a green company, which is the direction that we're heading. So Mark and Carmen, now I'm going to take you into our executive boardroom, which is by the reception area. And I want to show you something else that's very cool in here. So when you enter the boardroom, I want to show you something very cool. It's from Barco, and it's called ClickShare. You know when you have a presentation and everyone shows up with a different device? Someone has a Mac, another has a PC, and then others have phones? How does everyone connect? With Barco's ClickShare, you just plug in and everyone's good to go. One of the reasons this is so great is because it increases our collaboration. So I push the button and whatever I push goes up on the screen, no matter which it. computer Click you're at. Click and share. Wow. That's great. <laughs> That's cool. I think everything is going very well so far with Mark and Carmen. They seem to be really excited about the new space and it's all going according to plan. So something else very neat in this building is that the building has its very own sound. What kind of sound? It has an ambient sound. Carmen, I know we've talked a lot about the furniture solution for the office, from the private offices to the employees and the bullpens, and I'm really excited to show you this solution. I recently took a trip to Chicago to visit Mayline. They have a wide range of terrific functional designs that will give us comfortable and productive workspaces for everyone. I think you're really going to be excited with what we've come up with. So I know your directive to me was to make sure that we had executives and employees in the same furniture. Here we have an ottoman that also is lockable storage. So if someone comes to visit you at your desk, you can pick and sit down here. This is a divider and partition, which is also a whiteboard, so you can actually write on that piece. And then privacy was such an issue we've discussed. So I addressed that by adding an additional privacy panel at the top of the furniture. Is that a solid panel or is that? No, it's an acrylic and it actually lets the light through. Oh, wow. That's and it's okay. detachable. So if we decided one day that we wanted to lower the cubicles because communication was being stunted by too much privacy, we could. We have the flexibility. I love the double use of the file cabinet. Yeah, you can sit on and it. And it's great. It, it right? eliminates the need for everyone to pull up their chair. So, so this smart. is a you know a dual solution. Mm -hmm. And this is similar to what we'll see in the executive offices as well. It, yeah, it's very. It's the same furniture line. It's configured in a little bit of a different way in order to fit the needs of the private office user. Yeah, I really like the fact that we're all going to feel like we have the same across the board. That's great. Absolutely, and it opens up the door for communication between employees and executives. Everybody is one and they all sit in the same, and that was really the directive yep. I received That's from Carmen. Mm -hmm. So guys, I'm going to take you now to the boardroom and show you some of the solutions that we've provided for you from Carvart. Okay. So let me show you. I'm working with Carvart Glass out of New York. Carvart is a true creative solutions company specializing in turnkey architectural glass products. I've worked closely with their team to create truly beautiful glass partitions for the office. So one of the biggest challenges I was faced with was keeping a very open office space, but also considering privacy. So Carvart and I had worked together and we came up with some really interesting solutions, which I'm very excited to show you, which play with this privacy and public. So I've actually brought a gradient on the glass. In here it's in a color, in a blue, which is really fun. But the gradient provides a level of privacy and also public. So when I'm standing, the gradient will actually, it'll be clear. And when I sit down, when everyone's seated in the boardroom, they'll have the gradient 
at a seated level for privacy. So they'll feel like it's a little bit more private when you're in your seat. So you you're not in a, a big fishbowl. You're not in a fishbowl. So it. that's what the gradient will help you do. I love the color on the glass. Yeah. Me too. It is cool. Good. It's going to go well with Just everything. Just a little pop of color. Right. As I walked through the space, one of the things that I thought was most interesting was the carve art glass and the gradiated glass that allows for both privacy and seeing through into what's going on in our organization. And the color, that the blue color that we're going to have in the conference room is just going to pop. It's going to be wonderful. So something else very neat in this building is that the building has its very own sound. What kind of sound? It has an ambient sound. So what this does, it's actually a system that lives above the ceiling plane, produces an ambient sound, which eliminates the distracting conversation noises. So yep. are you saying that creating noise helps with the noise? That's exactly what I'm saying. So this wow. ambient noise kind of baffles the sound and conversation. They use this product in FBI headquarters, um, in buildings that really require a much deeper level of privacy. So this is just another element that lives in the building that will help reduce the sound and the noise. So it's taking out the distracting sound. The distracting sounds, oh, correct. Okay. It's going to be so much better because in our current building, you actually can hear between the walls. That's much right. Less than <laughs> well, we've done a lot, a lot of other things as well, insulation in the walls, and right. you know, we've taken a lot of well, that's steps. That's a big step. But this is a, this is a really interesting one. So this building is all very high tech, but we couldn't get any of this done without a very important technology partner and integrator. They were the first on the ground here at the construction site, and they will be the last to leave. They're wiring the entire building and making this a truly connected space. So wiring.com has been a really important partner for all of our technology integration. This stuff is 100% biodegradable, recyclable, and it's made with fiber, water, heat, and pressure. So here we are in the break room and dining area. And one of the important directives you guys gave me was to create an on-campus area where employees could eat lunch and have healthy meal options to choose from. Mm -hmm. So let me show you. You wanted a place people could get fresh, local, healthy food quickly and efficiently. Avenue C from Canteen provides us the perfect solution with 24-hour access that everyone here is going to love. So Carmen, what do you think? I think it's fabulous. Everybody's going to be able to stay on site and eat a healthy meal. It's like having a convenience store in our home. You're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nobody's going to want to leave. It's right there. Everyone's going to want to have right. lunch on campus, which is great. Yeah. I'm also working with a wonderful company called Innovation Cabinetry. I've designed a custom kitchen with Innovation Cabinetry that will provide a totally loaded kitchen for the dining area. This is gonna be great for employee birthdays, potluck dinners. We're gonna have a big space to celebrate and be together. It feels like home, it looks like home. It it's does. great. <laughs> I'm never gonna to wanna to leave. Do you have a bed for me somewhere? That's, uh, the Murphy bed is behind, no we don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm very excited about the new break room. It's gonna allow all of our employees to stay in the office, not have to go to and from for lunch and still have a healthy, nutritious snack. It's gonna be a great benefit for all our employees. So this is a really cool space. This is our social digital room. And one of the things I've considered as I've been designing this space with you guys is being very green. And one of the companies that I'm working with does decorative wall treatments. And for example, this one. This is an art installation with material from Noble Environmental. This stuff is 100% biodegradable, recyclable, and it's made with fiber, water, heat, and pressure. Wow. Yep. So I'm really excited about all of these very green decorative elements. It looks beautiful, Katie. It oh, really does. Great. So Mark, with all our high-tech gadgets and technology that's in the building, I know that security is a very important factor. So let me show you what we're going to provide. I'm working with two companies, Axis Communications, the leader in video surveillance cameras, and Milestone, the leader in digital security software. So this is gonna help you monitor the building. Mark, you can actually, from your tablet or your device, monitor the building from home, from away from work. You'll be able to see who's coming in and coming out, and this will help you keep the building secure. So I'm gonna know what's going on 24-7. 24-7. So if Carmen works too late, I can send her you home. You can send her, you can call her and say, Carmen, I'm watching you, you're, right. you're here you gotta too go late. Home you gotta go home now. Right. now. I'm in trouble. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> So I've been working with two other companies to design some custom pieces of furniture for the new office. One of them is the reception desk, and then we have completely custom conference tables that integrate perfectly with all of our technology. 
Arnold was here a couple days ago and we measured for the new reception desk. It's an important design because it needs to make a statement about the company when people come through the front door. We're also working side by side with Compaq. We've selected and customized just the right piece of quartz for the reception desk. So before we leave the building, I have one more thing to show you. It's a fabulous surprise, so follow me. All right, wow. let's go. I really like what I'm seeing, but I'm just hoping that the employees will embrace the changes that we're making. I want to show you each your offices. Oh! <laughs> I have one more little surprise for Mark and Carmen, and I hope they're gonna be excited because it really adds some personalization to the office. All right, Mark and Carmen, now I wanna show you each your offices, and I have a little surprise for you. Ooh, okay. So how do I know this is your office, Mark? Yeah, how do you know? <gasps> oh! <laughs> so these are from 290 Signs, uh, and these are mock-ups. I wanted to get your feedback and your opinion and your thoughts. Wow, those are cool. As much as it's a little thing, I think it's a huge touch. And it's important, I think, because the employees, you know, it's their identity, and they get a chance to, to express where they're gonna be residing within our space, and I think it's very valuable. All right, and Carmen, now we're at your office. Oh, no. Yay! I Most love it! Most aggressive cyclist in the state of Florida. <laughs> <laughs> that That's is That's awesome. awesome. It's really nice. nice. Love it. Great. I love these signs. They're great. It, it talks about our brand. It talks about us being about the people. It's got my title and something actually important or sensitive about me personally. I think they're beautiful. What a nice surprise. You'd be surprised how much little things make a big difference to employees. And when someone sees their name and their title in their office, it's everything. It's really a wonderful thing. Well, I had a vision. And now we have a plan for that vision. I'm so glad that Mark and Carmen were on board with all of my design concepts. Now I'm gonna start working with BSA contractors and 40 other really incredible partners in order to make this building a reality. Five years ago, we couldn't have designed and built what we are doing here because the technology was just not there to do it. But now the design community is catching up with the technology. It's a whole new world. And the efficiency of this new technology has created a new work environment. Companies like Brandstar are able to cut costs, increase productivity, and keep employees happy. That's a win for everybody. Now it's time for the really fun part. We get to build it. I'm really excited for this journey, and I know in the end it's going to be fabulous because I'm working with some really incredible partners.